Hi everybody and welcome to video number three of the web scraping tables using the API approach. What we want to do now is we want to use the output function in order to store the data in CSV, Excel, JSON and the Postgres SQL database. Okay, again, what have we done in the last two videos? We have taken a look how to make use of the API, which comes along with this website here, right? Then we have actually created a logic to extract data from a certain index. Here it was the first player. And afterwards we have put everything together, created empty lists for each and every data point. And then we looped through all results and appended the appropriate data inside this empty list here. And finally, we were able to see all the results inside this data frame. Okay, now let's take a look how to export all this information. So, first of all, let's make use of the hockey data frame. It's this one. We created it like, or in this cell, right? And now, in the next step, we can just simply make use of the to CSV function. Okay, and now we have to provide a few arguments here. First of all, let's go with the name. So let's say it's hockey.csv, comma. And now if you want to, you can provide different arguments here. For me, I've tried several things out and I found out that this works best for me. And index is false. Okay, so this is the separator. It's a semicolon and the index is false. Okay, this is number one. Click on enter or run the cell. And then let me just open the folder where my notebook is stored. And here I have my CSV file. Okay, you see it like here. Here it's the Microsoft Excel comma separated values file. Double click on this. And here we have uh, successfully grabbed the data. Okay, this is number one. Now let's do the same, but we want to store it inside the Excel file. The approach is the same, hockeydf.2 underscore Excel. Okay, and here, let's say I want to make use, actually I have to provide a name, right? Let's say hockey hyphen Excel, okay, dot XLSX, and this is uh, the Excel extension, all right? And the next argument is index, and this should equal to false. Okay, let's run this one open the folder and this is the file which was created just a few moments ago double click on this one here we have the data okay and if you want to at least i always do it i want to format it to show you guys that now you can do with the data whatever you want to okay this is actually it here I've shown you how to extract the data to an Excel file, right? Now, number three is we want to extract or to export the data to a JSON file. That means hockeydf2, once again, hockeydf2 underscore JSON, okay? Here, let's provide a name. Let's say it's hockey-json.json, okay? Because this is right now the extension. Right, And again, I've tried out a few arguments and I saw that this works best for me. So I want to go with orient equals to records and lines equals to true. Okay, let's run this one and let's see what we have inside the folder. This is the JSON file. Double click on this one. And now let's see what we have here. This is right now the JSON file. I look, this <laughs> looks very unstructured, but this is actually what we get as a result, right? We have your name, age, the height, and so on and so forth. So this is our JSON file. And last but not least, let's go ahead and output all the data inside the Postgres SQL database. And as you can remember, in video number one, we have imported the SQL Alchemy library and this is right now um, necessary for the next step. So first of all, we have to create an engine. Engine equals to 
SQL Alchemy dot create engine. Now I have to write down Postgres colon slash slash again Postgres colon and now I have to provide my password and for all, all my tutorials I just use one two three four five. Then we have to go for at localhost uh, colon and here I have to provide this local host here. For me, it's 5432. Okay. And in the next step, I want to make use again of the hockey data frame and work with the 2SQL function here. Okay. So it's the same what we have done here to JSON, to Excel, to CSV. Now it's 2SQL. And I want to provide the name. It's just hockey. Afterwards, the engine which is this one. And the last argument is index equals to false. Let's see what we get. Run the cell. Okay, it takes a few moments. Let's see if we get an error message right now. Okay, and we do. Let me just scroll all the way down and see what we have. Okay, could not translate hostname localhost. Got it, I have a typo. So here it's localhost. I've forgotten to mention the L. Okay, run the cell again. Now we don't have an error message. In the next step, I open up my PG admin. This is the interface, right? And you see here we have right now six tables. These are the, the tables from the previous uh, tutorials. Now I want to go ahead, click on refresh. And now we have seven different tables. So let me just click on this query tool and see how this data looks like. That means I want to set up a simple SQL statement. That means select everything from hockey. Okay, semicolon and run this one. And you see here, voila, we have all the data which is necessary for this project. Okay, that's it guys. So thank you very, very much for your time, for your trust, for your attention. If you have any kind of questions, let me know. And I hope to see you in one of the upcoming tutorials. I wish you all the best. Stay safe and bye bye.